Marie-Lua, in the network of the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development, you are representing the Swiss Agency for Development Cooperation. You took the lead in the initiative to revise the platform's joint donor concept from 2006, and you just came back from Stockholm from a workshop to prepare this review. What was the change in the international context of aid effectiveness that made you think the concept had to be revised? Well, when you read the 2006 uh, concept, um, I, I'm quite sure that the, the word uh, resilience uh, is not there. The climate change is, is mentioned, but very like uh, in the margin, if I can say so. And, uh, and food security is, yeah, is there, but just mentioned in, in the introduction. I mean, it has changed a lot, of course, uh, uh, from 2008 and from the prices, uh, the food prices and the height of the food prices. There is a, a new global dimension on the food security discussion, uh, which is not at all reflected in the 2006 concept, which is normal. I mean, it, it was really, at that time, probably not so obvious as uh, it is now. Um, and nutrition, it's the, it's the newest one, uh, since now we have this discussion, not only talking about uh, food security, uh, but food and nutrition security. I mean, it's not only a wording, and the labeling change, it has also implications. It makes the whole discussion uh, more complex. It has really this uh, trans uh, sectorial dimension. Um, we have that very clear in, um, in the discussion we had with the, discussing the SIDA Sweden strategy. Uh, the idea is not having a, you can't have a sector on, on food security, you, you have to bring different sectors working together. Uh, it goes off, it starts normally with agriculture, but it goes really uh, beyond uh, traditional agriculture and rural, rural development. There is a clear now um, focus to have this uh, train track approach and having this uh, better link uh, and link between uh, food emergency, uh, relief and, and longer term uh, perspective and that's where resilience is now a bit of a common, a common uh, ground. And uh, discussing nutrition, it opens also a lot of new uh, doors. Uh, it has to be more with uh, health and, and education. Um, and, and I would say that uh, it, it's, uh, it makes the, the whole discussion uh, more difficult to grasp in a few words in, and probably that's why this concept can't be uh, so definitive uh, in a few months. Mm -hmm. It would be evolving again and again. Could you please describe the review process and where you're at right now? We started the whole process at the end of uh, September, discussing that at the board meeting. And then we had the first consultation where we targeted actually uh, platform members that are uh, in work stream of the platform and we say, okay, if, if somebody has put his name in a work stream on, on post harvest, that may be, that's probably because there is an interest, but also that there is already uh, a position internally. So we, we start this first consultation on that. With all the, the inputs gathered, we had uh, 17 members reacting from the 34, which is uh, quite a good score, I would say. Uh, from these inputs and there are still inputs coming. We had this common ground discussion in Stockholm. And we have uh, the objective to, to share between, before Christmas, sorry, before Christmas we will have a, a consultation on the preliminary, preliminary draft where we will have the, the structure of the draft with the changing context, the reaffirming guiding principles and, and aid effectiveness principles. And then with this proposal of the common ground, on these different topics, the established one and the new one, and there we hope uh, for feedback and, and additional inputs from the members. It should uh, lead us to have a final draft before the annual assembly mid-January, and we will distribute it uh, before the assembly, and we will have it also there as a hard copy. And the idea is to use the different sessions of the annual assembly uh, to start also from this common ground and to add and discuss the, the, the key messages. 
What else will happen at the AGA? Um, we have quite a, a good opportunity since many of the topics that are this, which is normal. I mean, this is the, the priority topics of the platform. They will be dealt with during the assembly uh, in breakout uh, group or in word cafe session uh, or even in the in the main panel discussion on the food farm and market, uh, which is a, a clear link to this uh, private sector development in, in ARD. So the idea is to have it very well advanced before the assembly, but not having it like, okay, that's that's the process, please validate it and then we publish it now. That's how we use uh, as best uh, as possible the, the way that people will be there uh, and we'll have the chance to discuss in, in smaller groups. And we hope that the different session, uh, to give the different session a kind of additional task um, to bring in a plenary from the discussion that we'll have on climate resilient agriculture, for instance, what are the key messages they want to propose for the for the whole uh, update concept? What is the added value of the platform in the review process? We, as a bilateral agency, we have now the task to uh, adapt our strategy on food security, and we had the same shift as the platform. We used to have agriculture and rural development and we're moving toward agriculture and food security for the for the coming four years in our strategy as, uh, as such and we just realized we are not uh, the only one uh, CIDA Sweden is uh, going through a similar process uh, Italy has just uh, has just uh, elaborated also a new guidelines on, on agriculture food security rural development and actually we should really uh, use the platform in that sense. It's a lot uh, about also peer review. I mean, reading what the other are proposing is, of course, a source of inspiration. And the uh, SDC proposal was to say, instead of having our own process of discussing what are the main trends and main discussions, why not using, in, the, in that sense, the platform to do that? Okay, we, we have to do this internal exercise. Let's open it uh, to, to the platform. And apparently, other members also interested in, in getting that that uh, that openness and and discussing that. I think that's the added value of the platform. There are lots of uh, instances now in the food security uh, world, I would say, CFS and 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 others. At the same time, the the plus of the platform is having a bilateral, multilateral together and having this cross continent um, perspective. And actually, to to bring together the different agencies, and this this is really a learning exercise. But at the same time, I think it it also um, it has some some challenges. And if we want the, the members to really benefit from that, we need also the members to be more proactive. Mm -hmm. And I think that's another reason to to have this discussion, the key messages during the AGA and during the assembly. And not only done a bit in the background by, by a small uh, core group and and uh, a lot being done by, by consultants, which is uh, probably the easiest way to have this process uh, being uh, finalized in, in a short term, but with, with not the same uh, impact on, on the different members and the, on the learning especially. What is your takeaway from the review so far? Yeah, the main... Uh, Success or the, the, the key uh, output of the of the whole process, I think, is is uh, using the platform. We have the platform. We normally pay for the platform, at least uh, some of us. So we consider the platform useful, even if if the context has changed and it's not anymore like in the in the very beginning where uh, that kind of of. Uh, of knowledge sharing platform on this topic was missing. This is not anymore the case because we have different now uh, forum at different level. This, will it be at, at the Rome uh, level uh, within the UN system or in the G8 and G20, etc.? There are a lot of, of things happening around agriculture and food security. At the same time, people still think we need this platform and there is an added value to the platform. Now, how can we use it? Uh, better, and I think that the process is uh, is an attempt to have more involvement from the members. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we will get something out of it if we put some some energy and and time, which is of course uh, 
a big constraint for most of the of the members because normally we have we have enough internally uh, and probably not enough time to to invest uh, to this uh, global or international uh, networking. At the same time, if we can really match the different interests. That's probably the the best we can we can get from from that kind of, of uh, international networking. Um, on the key messages, uh, the big challenges on that is not having something very, how to say, obvious. You just read to say, okay, I knew that already. I don't need the platform to tell me that uh, climate uh, change is important for agriculture, etc. So, I mean, it will be quite a challenge to find. Uh, a message that makes sense at the same time it should reflect this common ground but should be also uh, or provocative or, or done in a way that is oh that's interesting okay have a look at what the platform has, has uh, proposed on, on that and that and it uh, we're not there yet and and we will see we need also all members and all uh, AGA participants creativity and and, and effort uh, on that point. Thank you very much.